Hey, Ron, welcome back to the show. A pleasure to see our next guest. And he is very familiar with Vancouver. And uh, luckily, he was working late last night, so you missed most of the shenanigans. Absolutely. He's got a great big movie coming out tomorrow called Mr. Popper's Penguins. And you'll also know him from Men in Trees, which was shot here, and Grey's Anatomy. James Tupper, how are you? Hey, James, yeah, how are you? Intro, you make me sound important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, the it's, big it's, question it's, is, <laughs> with Grey's Anatomy, the well, Mick Yeah. Are you No, I just got Mick Unforgettable. Uh, it's ridiculous. Mick Unforgettable. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, but it's the, it's the same ring. That's when they're sort of running out of things, right? Like, <laughs> Mick Unforgettable right. as you go. I think when, when, when we did Men in Trees here, we followed them on Thursday night. Yeah. And so they, they, they had a Mick Dreamy, Mick Dreamy, and they called me Mick Dreamy because I was the Mick Tree guy. <laughs> oh, Mick Tree. <laughs> so I'm trying to bring that back. Has you should be Mick Dreamy. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. How nice is it for you and your wife, for that matter, to be back in Vancouver? You guys are shooting a movie here right now, but, but I, I mean, just to come back to a city that, that you know. You guys say come back, but we feel like this is our first Sorry. home. We met here, we found love here, we own a home here, and. Uh, so I, how is it coming back home? <laughs> I, was, I was very proud of my sons because they were both rooting for Canada in the Olympics. Like they feel like Vancouver is really their spiritual, you know, place. Yeah. And sorry, you had to be here when the city fell apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not. not well, my alibi is that I was on set. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't well, that, you. That works until the photos start popping up. Right? So what is it that you're shooting in town? Um, we're working on a, a movie called Girl Fight. And it's, it's a really interesting project because it's about a, um, a girl that gets beat up by her friends and they put the, the video on YouTube to try to become famous or something. And it kind of works, but they, they beat her within pretty much an inch of her life. And yeah. we're the parents and we have to go through prosecuting them and finding a way to uh, resolve our families. And this uh, is based pain. on a true story, which is, yeah. I, I mean, it's yeah. one of those things that sounds familiar. And, and I think, sadly, part of the reason is because yeah. it's not that uncommon anymore. No, it's weird. Like, like, yeah, it's like you say. People don't realize the power of putting themselves, putting their image out there, doing stuff. I mean, these girls videotaped beating a girl up, and yeah. you know they had a reason to do. It. They were well, they thought they did. They were, they were taking revenge against something she felt they posted that was unfair, or whatever. They had a reason, and that's the nice thing about the script is there's like there is it, it's such a black and white ca white case of violence, but at the same but. time they give the girls enough of a point of view that you feel like oh yeah okay I can kind of relate to why they made that stupid choice. Yeah, well, and, and how applicable is this, I mean, in the right. setting of last night, you know what I mean? Because right. you're gonna hear all these excuses from people yeah. involved in this stuff. Well, I was just there. You know, I was just dumb. Yeah, I was just, uh, durr. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's the difference. There's a lot of but that going around today. this is a modern today. defense, right? Yeah. Like, I was just stupid and, yeah. uh, brr. <laughs> Love it. Everything I did that was stupid never got photographed. So I'm, I'm we are lucky yes. that we escaped the generation. Okay, let's talk about Mr. Popper's Penguins. Everybody's heard about this because they've been running the ads for it. it, it explain what it's all about. Jim Carrey and Penguins, and how are you involved? Well, first of all, listen, I'm a boy that grew up in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. So okay. even to be uh, close to this project is, is insane. Like, you, you go, the first day on set, I remember I walked in and it was like... It's an airport hangar with like kept it freezing with real penguins running around. Like, really? No kidding. And then Jim Carrey walks over and he slaps me on the back. He's like, Jim or James? <laughs> and I'm like, you got you got Jim covered, so I'm gonna <laughs> stick I'm gonna stick with James. <laughs> yeah. But um, so the size of it, the dimension of it, I, I flew down last week because we had a, a cast kind of uh, preview and. Yeah. You know, uh, they try to kind of release it in stages or whatever, and it was at the Chinese Grauman's Theater. Which yeah. is a great so, place. The it's famous. so yeah. historical. It's amazing. Like, I was walking on Gregory Peck's uh, shoes, going like, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> I have a relatively small part in it, but, uh, you know, it, the amount of attention and, and energy around it is just yeah. really well, wonderful. And, and this sort of encapsulates, you know, your job going from, uh, you know, what you're shooting in Vancouver and, and to this whole fantasy land. I mean, yeah. What an incredible opportunity, and what a way to live a life and, and yeah. to make a living, right? It's, it's, it, it, um, it's a bit like being awake in a dream. Yeah. I, I can't quite believe it half the time. <laughs> and I feel like it's a mistake that they're interviewing me. Really? You want to talk really? to me? Okay. Really? Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Once again, well, Let's talk about Mick Tremie and, yeah. and Grey's Anatomy. Uh, such a Mick huge... Unforgettable. Yeah, you're, uh, you earned the nickname, what was it, Mick Creamy? Mc, yeah, we don't, talk, we don't talk about that, one? though. Well, what? it was just bestowed on me by, by a, a very hot woman. And, she and just, yeah. There's a long story behind it. But coming into a show like that. You should have a Mick fight. I, you, can you? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you right now, you do not want to mess with a guy named McCreamy. <laughs> that For is a lot not of where reasons. anybody wants to go. There's no winning, you're yeah, right. Yeah, you, you can understand. What was it like uh, coming into the show Grey's Anatomy? I mean, they have such an amazing ensemble cast, but to step into that show, it's a hit. What was yeah. it like? Amazing. The first day I was there, Sandra O oh came up to me and she's like, Montreal. Like 1980, 90, whatever, 95, four, whatever. She was at the National, and I was going to Concordia Theater School. So, and we knew all these people in common. 
And it feels like on the set there's um, this uh, feeling that everybody has kind of a theater background or has done a lot of work and built themselves up. So the quality and the acting and the, and the writing is just phenomenal. So you yeah. feel like you're joining a, a really special group of people. Yeah. It's no accident that they're successful. It's yeah, like they're no successful kidding. Was it tough really to come into a cast do. that's so tight because they've all been there for so no, long? No, uh, the opposite. Any Eric, Dane, Eric Dane's like, hey, James, I saw you on Men Trees, man. I like everybody was right off the bat. Jimmer James! Yeah. Jimmer James! <laughs> right. <laughs> you no. get that. Uh, what's going on? Because everybody's going to want to know and, uh, and, and see if you'll actually answer. But do you know what is going to happen with your character next year? No, I honestly back? don't. I honestly don't. Mike Liar. watches this show no, I'm not lying. over and over again. Liar. He really wants to know. Uh, because there's some... You're tempting me to make stuff up right now. Well, there's, Do it. there's love interest. I mean, there's all these yeah. things. You can see where your character would fit in so seamlessly with, with sort of this idea. Because if there's a show that needs someone as a therapist... Can you call them right now and yeah. tell them that? But you know what I mean? If there's a show that needs a therapist on staff, it's right? the staff of Grey's Anatomy. Right. <laughs> Right, yeah, it's true. They need recovery. They need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> talk it out, baby. Yeah. So you really don't know. You I honestly don't. I wish I could make something. I, I would make, I'm tempted to make something up. <laughs> but but yeah, I honestly don't. don't. Nobody lies to me. So crazy. while you're in Vancouver, of course, uh, you mentioned you and your wife are working on a film together. So you're both here. Yeah. Are you doing anything that's not hockey or film related? Just Any rioting, favorite really. things? <laughs> Just Aside from rioting. when you're riding and tipping over cars, what do you and your wife like to do here in Vancouver? What are your favorite things? It's so cute. This morning we woke up and our two and a half year olds here. She gave him a haircut. <laughs> it's our day off, so it's like the fun thing. She took him on a stroll down. Later we're going to a, a, a pool that's about knee deep. Right. Yeah, we're yeah, going to go swimming with him. Daddy, splash, splash. Yeah, like, yeah. Right. Um, it's really, uh, you know, it's all, it's all family about us when we're not working. That's, you know, we love our kids and we love to hang out with well, them. Well, and, and to have that opportunity, too, I mean, to, to you be You wanted able to hear, like, water skiing or something. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. We're going to fly a helicopter. What we do is we juggle our children. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but how nice is it for you, right, to be able to, to shoot in a place like Vancouver, once again, where you guys have a home, and, and to be able to have that family life after you finish working for the day as well. It, it, it's phenomenal. You know, we have friends here. Like, the, the, our nine-year-old started when he was, like, four, so he's, like, he's met all these people. It's he has friends. Screw. We're having a big party for him to celebrate his graduation. He, you know, Nine-year-olds have yeah. graduations now? Well, grade three. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him. you got to celebrate the milestones. Uh, so Mr. Poppers opens up, of course, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, did you get attacked by penguins at any point? Did you enjoy working with the I, penguins? I did, in fact. I, I got bit by one. Really? They bite? <laughs> they, they don't. They, yeah, they're ornery. They're, like, yeah. so cute. They look like little toddlers. This is what I've a, heard about them before. They're a little bit aggressive. But then you get near, they're like, yeah, I'm not going to... They, yeah. they really go after you. That was a good penguin. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're a cold climate Canada goose. Like, yeah. you think they're nice. They can't. They never went to acting school. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Once again, Mr. Popper's Penguins comes out uh, tomorrow, and of course, uh, when can you see Grey's? When is the is the new season? September. They start shooting in uh, the uh, yeah September yeah the do end you, of July. Do you know if yeah. you're coming back? Do we I cover don't them? Know. You don't even know if they're coming back. <laughs> That's why I can't tell you. Well, they've, they've you know. Get on the phone at McCreamy. <laughs> We're done. Tell them what to we're do. We're done right now. I will be getting on the phone. I'll be getting on the internet and figuring things out.